stay man, and this is a totally random post, but I was getting ready this morning and I kind of thought I wanted to do a video on um, exosomes, the neogenesis stem cell product, Adipo, their communication with the fibroblast and why fascia plays an integral role in um, the health of the keratinocyte and the fat cell. So we talked about adipo in another video, and if you didn't see that video, look it up, um, Beauty in the Fat Cell. I talk about neogenesis a lot. I've never really done a particular video on this particular product yet. It's one of my favorite. So, and I think it was probably one of the first exosome products to make it to the market. So let's just quickly go, what is an exosome? Exosome is kind of a delivery system. It's something that the skin, once it's set on the skin, it's recognized. It's part of the skin's communication system. So it's immediately used and applied. And neogenesis, I love to kind of break it down because it's a skin cell molecule. It's the molecule of a stem cell. And there are different components within these exosomes. And so one kind of seeks out distress signals from cells that aren't healthy in the keratinocyte. And then it brings over two other kind of components, one that navigates what's not healthy, and then one that goes in to actually fix what is missing. So it's what it is doing is it's optimizing your own cellular behavior, making the cell function at its best. Now, adipo is very, very similar. Adipo addresses the fat cell. And so what we learned in this video prior is that we have fit fat cells and we have lazy fat cells. And lazy fat cells don't really like to do much. They just kind of sit on the skin, bloated, not even communicating with the fibroblast, which helps initiate the formation of collagen and elastin. And it begins to kind of stretch out our skin and where we really can identify this is in the jaw area because many times if that fat cell gets bloated and it's not, we're not creating collagen and elastin, we kind of pre-create jowls before they really need to be created. But when we have a fit fat cell or a tightly compact cell, more of like a mini marshmallow versus a jumbo marshmallow, we create kind of a dense, layering that reflects light and subliminally suggests youth. So I like to use the exosome first, and then I love to layer my adipo. And I really put on my adipo really heavy. So as I do it, and I'm not gonna do it all in this video, this is about the consistency I use. And I use it in the areas that I feel I need it most. And for me, in this area, I really show a lot of thinning and also underneath my eyes. So I, I kind of do it right in this area. And that's the beauty of this product is you do not, you can selectively choose areas that are lacking in kind of density or areas that are sagging. Now, when I first got the product, I put it all over and now I, I'm more specific in where I, I apply it. And then I just let this soak in. So when we talk about skin and the skin cells, we realize that what we see on the outside is really due to the quality inside. And so what health or, sh or shape our skin cells are in is how they process the communication system from skin cell products or process the communication internally. And a lot of this has to do with microcirculation and nutrition from the inside. And microcirculation is just a fancy term for blood flow. Your cells need blood to be oxygenated to do cellular metabolism. That's kind of like the conversion of sodium and potassium in that cell to multiply and divide and to keep everything in a healthy state. And that is why we bring fascia into the equation. 
fascia is kind of this interconnecting webbing. And one of the best visual examples that I can give you is fishnet stockings. So let's just imagine pulling fishnet stockings on your leg, right? And so you have this great kind of geometrical pattern of um, the fabric. And then in between, you see the pockets of your skin. So now I want you to imagine that geometrical fabric being fascia and the areas where you see the skin being cells. Fascia houses the cells in a perfect organization for optimal communication. And when fascia gets bound or adhered or even like caught, you know, in the bones, that becomes dehydrated and, and blood flow and communication cease to exist in that area. Therefore, the cells no longer have communication to do what they're supposed to do. And many times they die and this accelerates the aging process anywhere on the body, but especially the face. So what we like to do, or what I like to do is, as this is kind of settling on my face, I will start to work. And a lot of times with my third and fourth finger, just kind of the tissue in the skin. And I'm just kind of searching for dense areas or areas that seem tight or uncomfortable. And you can also do this with the Anma. The Anma was created as a home tool just to help you start to release the skin. And we're just pressing, we're just moving that skin on the tissue just to kind of release the fascial adhesions between the skin and the muscle. We're not doing anything too much, too substantial. We're creating microcirculation in the area. In specific areas that concern bone, you can use the thumbs and you can really go in and kind of dig in. And I will do this a lot of times underneath the jawline. And I'll even protrude my bottom teeth out and I'll adhere or kind of poke the thumbs right in because as that fascia tightens, many times it recedes the jaw back, protruding the head forward even more. So you can always use the thumbs and kind of just kind of wiggle out specific areas. Now, the, the tolerance of pain is different with everybody. So I always say you want it to be kind of like an uncomfortable comfort. You know, you're not in a piercing, sharp pain, but you're in a pain of stretch and movement. I hope this video shared the knowledge of why skin care and um, fascia care are equally important in staying young. I love your questions and comments. If you like the, the video, please like it. If you want to share it, please share it. Until my um, next little tidbit of information, I hope you all have great skin days.